are back. hiding under the pillow silly girl you think we're leaving all right we made it to our first stop of the trip we obviously arrived last night it's the next morning already but we arrived when it was dark so we just um, got distracted setting us up and getting the girls comfortable let me show them now actually grace crawled under the pillowcase when she thought we were leaving so that's a good sign Okay, we're staying at the Carpinteria State Beach, which is about five and a half hours from San Jose and another five and a half hours to San Diego, so straight in the middle for us. And it was about $72 for one night. It came with electric and water hookups. Um, it's pretty crap, I mean like a tight campground, um, paved spot, so it kind of feels like a parking lot, but you're right, literally right next to the ocean. So it's worth it for that. Um, definitely on the pricier side, but so is everything in California, especially if you want to be near the water. But there are restrooms, showers um, take tokens. Don't think I'll be showering them. They're not gross. They're just kind of exposed to the elements, so a little chilly. Um, but otherwise, it's a beautiful stay. And um, the train tracks aren't far away where we just saw the Pacific Surfer Liner. Surf Liner. California Surf Liner. California Surf Liner drive by, which I, we believe is the train that takes you along the Pacific Coast. Um, so we're pretty envious of that because we just did our own train ride from Denver to San Francisco. So now we're eyeing all the different train routes we can take. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out here. Coming to you live from Carpinteria State Beach. We are walking upon a seal exhibit. A seal exhibit. <laughs> we're walking. <laughs> Some seals are supposed to be mating up the road, so we're walking to it. So within walking distance of the campground is a seal sanctuary, and it's next to the old oil refinery pier. It's really cute. A bunch of seals have pups with them, all trying to get in from the waves and just harbor. So check it out. After that lovely walk to see the baby seals, we are now having some breakfast. An orange, 
toasted some rolls to have with some honey and making some water for tea. Exciting stuff happening here. <laughs> but we have about an hour and a half before we have to check out of here and we might get our money's worth. So we're gonna enjoy some breakfast, hang out, and then get going. The problem is for me. I need a need Just past Malibu RV Park. Malibu RV Park. If you are a true fan, you would know that we stayed there in the very first episode of our channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch it right here. It's a classic. Classic. our next destination San Diego we are staying in Silver Strand State Beach right on the beach pretty much like we're parked here and the sand is right right here and the ocean is right there so like yesterday we were you know a little bit away from the beach in the middle of the parking lot but now we're on the front and so it's really exciting it is more expensive to be so close to the beach so it's $75 a night we're gonna stay here tomorrow night as well but in a different spot and it's cheaper obviously because we're not front row to the ocean um so so far uh, we're excited about that and being um we'll have to show you guys in the morning the view um but we as always went to scope out the bathroom <clears throat> and they were all locked and so we went to the front office and apparently the bathrooms are only for day use area so they closed at six and it is 707 <clears throat> Also, they lock the gate here at 7 o'clock, so you literally can't leave. Like, you cannot leave or you won't be able to get back in, which I find is kind of extreme. So anyways, I guess the whole place gets shut down. And um, I don't know if you guys know this, but we don't have a toilet. I mean, we don't have a bathroom. We do have a portable toilet in case of emergencies, but we never use it because... We like to stay places where they have restrooms, but apparently here they don't have public restrooms for the campgrounds, so that was fun. So now we were like sh shamelessly walking back to our camper, realizing this is why there's no other campers in small campgrounds. I mean, in small campers like us, like everyone is in these huge rigs. So if you're staying here, make sure you have your own bathroom or porta potty because you'll need it. And otherwise, it's nice. But I think if we had known that, we wouldn't have stayed here. Anyways, that's our update. We'll show you the beach in the morning. Shout out to She Weenie, the number one girl recommended She Weenie. Yeah, okay, full transparency. We actually didn't take our porta potty out and peed okay, in yeah. a water gallon jug. So I used my pee funnel that I bought many years ago because I'm obsessed with having a backup and a backup and a backup option in case we don't have a bathroom. And it was successful. So for the ladies out there, buy yourself a she funnel or a pee funnel or a she wee, whatever they're called. You never know when you're gonna need it. No shame. All right, good morning. Last day in San Diego, last day on the West Coast. Uh, we just got finished visiting Parker and Kayla, you know, two friends that we love to visit wherever they are. Um, so yeah, today we're packing up, heading east from San Diego. We're gonna 
head towards Arizona and Mount Taco. Uh, we also stayed there on our last trip, but it's a beautiful place. Great service for work. Uh, we'll be there the full week so we can get some work done and stuff done. And then we'll pack up and uh, keep heading east from there. We're thinking uh, Texas probably. We don't know quite exactly where yet. Uh, maybe the Oregon Mountains. So we'll see. Uh, stay tuned and thanks for following us. On the road again, we're leaving the West Coast. It's gonna be the last time we see a beach until... Florida. Florida, maybe Texas, we'll see. And it's crazy to think that in a month from now, we will be on the East Coast. Yeah. And now California. But in five and a half hours, we will be in Arizona at Picaco Peak. Five minutes into our road trip. We got hungry. Okay, okay, so I wish I was filming that, but someone just pulled up and asked us what kind of camper we had because we're in the McDonald's parking lot just having lunch. And so we're talking to her and she's like, oh my God, I didn't even know those existed. And where'd you buy them? And you know, we explained how Borrow isn't um, it doesn't exist as a company anymore so you have to find them used and then she asked if we were selling and we were like no and then we talked a little bit more and she's like seriously are you not selling <laughs> and we're like we have to drive across the country with it she's like well what if you come back <laughs> I'm like picturing us just sitting in the McDonald's parking lot with all with just our car and all our belongings <laughs> and she drives off with it I think she was ready to pay us she was Anyways, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I'm that we thought that was a really cute situation because normally I think people want to ask us, but they're too shy. But she was ready to buy from us immediately for I guess her son. But anyways, so if you're in the market for one, you gotta Google fiberglass trailers. You'll have to find them used, but they got them around. Mm -hmm. To be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse, where every mile is a new beginning, and every bend holds a new end. Eyes on the road, don't lose control. I'm speeding fast to chase my soul. I'm driving. Oh 